Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, privileged exec security. So we covered configuring our passwords and our basic security at the console and at the terminal lines. The last one is configuring a password for the enable prompt. So when you connect over a console or a VTY line, you'll land at the user exec prompt by default, which has that very limited set of commands available. To get the super user access, you use the enable command to invoke privileged exec mode that can be secured with a password as well. So you could put a password on your console and your terminal lines and not have an enable password, or you could have an enable password but not have passwords at the console, or you can do both. Typically, you're going to want to do both. So the command for this with the old command, I'll get onto the new command in a minute, is enable password and then the password you want to use and that's a global level command so for console and vty that password was configured at the line level for the enable prompt password that is configured at the global level once we've done this if we are at the user prompt and we enter the enable command we'll be prompted for that enable password now the problem with the enable password is that if you do a show run, it shows up in plain text. So let's say that you're the senior administrator and you've got a junior administrator with you and you're doing some training for them and you're showing them some things. If you do a show run command on the router while well, they're looking over your shoulder, they will see what the enable password is and now they can go and get super user access as well. So you don't want that to be the case. You can see here we've done a show run and we can see in plain text that the enable password is flat box three. So we don't use the enable password command, we use the enable secret command instead. It's got exactly the same function where once you've configured that, if you want to get to the enable prompt, you have to enter a password. The difference is that when you use enable secret, if you do a show run, it shows up in an encrypted format. It doesn't show the actual password in plain text. Now, if you've got both an enable password and an enable secret set, the enable password is not used. It's the enable secret that is in effect. Best practice is to configure an enable secret. Do not configure an enable password at all. It's just an old command that's not used anymore. So let's say that we did have that enable password set as flatbox3, and we say enable secret flatbox3, we'll get a warning message. That's the same as your enable password. Please use a different secret. So we could say ena enable secret flatbox4. And now if I do a show run, I can see that my enable secret is messed up letters and numbers. So I don't know that it's actually flatbox4. It's not in plain text. But enable password does show as plain text, which is flatbox3. Real world, what you would do if you got that warning message is you would say no, enab no enable password to remove it, and then you would say enable secret and put your enable secret in. As well as the enable password being shown in plain text, any line level passwords that you've entered are shown in plain text by default as well. So if I did a show run now, I can see that my enable secret is encrypted, my enable password is in plain text, and also those passwords that I configured under the console and the virtual terminal lines are in plain text as well. Again, that is bad too. I don't want those showing up in plain text. So what I can do for that is I can use the service password encryption command. You enable this at global level. When you do this, now whenever you do a show run, all commands will be shown in an encrypted format. So it is best practice to do this. So the example here, I've enabled service password encryption. And now when I do a show run, I see that all of my passwords are in an encrypted format. They're not showing in plain text. Okay, so that was it. That was configuring basic security. Next lecture, we'll have a look at doing this in the lab. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad-free, 
right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.